Hello everyone. So this is a review for NEO stocks. It will help you in your day to day paper trading. So let's learn how do we use this for our day to day paper trading. So step one, when you log into NEO stocks, this is how the whole software looks like. Now, let me remind you, there is no mobile app for this platform. So it has to be used only on the website. If you carefully see, uh, here is the name of the software. Here are some buttons uh, which will help you in your journey. Here is your name and the account balance. This is very important for you to know. So right now I have 9,75,000 because I have already spent 25,000 in some activity and which has already given me a loss. So if you see over here, it says profit and loss today is 11,000. Now, before we go ahead, uh, when you log in, you might see an option like this. So what you have to do is you can click on hide graph and it will stop showing you the graph. The reason is for charting, we will use another software uh, only to trade so that we book uh, a buy of a share and sell of a share. We will use this application. So let's get into it. It's very simple. Over here, you see the search box. So let's say I want to buy Tata Motors. So I type in Tata Motors and I should be able to see over here multiple options. What we are interested in is something that only says Tata Motors. Don't get into something that says October, November, December or it says FUT or it says CE or you know October 210 PE. These are future and options. We don't want to get into this. We only want Tata Motors. Then you have a button called B, which actually means buy, sell, and a plus sign. We are interested over here, which says add in list. So I click on it. And the first thing I get over here is Tata Motors, the price of it, and what percentage it is now. So if you notice on the top, you have Nifty 50, which is giving you the live counter, which is what is the real price at which Nifty 50 is operating today and then Bank Nifty and according to that, it's your share. So let's cross check if you want, we can go to NSE India website and let's see what is the Nifty 50 over there. So if you see over here, it says 18,290. And if you come here, it says 18,286. So more or less it's the same. It's just a millisecond can also fluctuate the whole number. So it will go up and down, but more or less it's the same. Okay. So now uh, we add another share. So we remove this Tata Motors from the search bar. And let's say we type IEX. I E X. So we want this share and it says India energy exchange and we say plus. Now we go for the next one. Let's say ICICI. And over here we have ICICI bank. And again, we add in the plus. List. So what we have to do is every day when you go on the YouTube video, where I recommend the shares to you, you're supposed to add them here. And then you can click on a buy button and buy them. You can directly buy as well, but this is a better way to do. I'll explain you in a while why. So let's say I click on Tata Motors. The moment I click on buy button, I will get multiple options here. The first thing it says is LTP. The LTP means last traded price. Account balance means how much money I have, which is virtual money. None of my actual money or currency is utilized. This is a virtual money that you get when you open this account. I think you get around 10 lakhs. Now you have buy and sell options. So you want to sell this 
or you want to buy this so we want to buy again in buy we have two options intraday or overnight we will not select intraday because in intraday when you buy you have to sell it or square off your position at least before 3 pm in the same day or on the same day but in overnight you can keep the share for as long as you want maybe two months three months five days or even one day so we will take overnight over here then we have multiple options again at which price you want market price limit price limit auto or a stop limit since we are beginners and we're just trying to understand how things operate we will go not with market we will go with limit why because market can be up or down and a good trader will always know at what price he wants to buy so let's say i will buy this share if it is coming down to 78 so 478 if it comes i want to buy we will right now drop the option called limit and stop limit this is a little advanced we will not follow it right now and down over here it says quantity in fixed it should be auto click if it's not you click it and over here you type 50 since it's a paper trading we can go with 50 amount now it says 50 shares of 478 margin required margin required is nothing but how much money is required so if you go to calculate this 50 shares into 478 will come to 23900 so your question should be where is the 90 rupees going then we'll understand that So right now for our training purpose we will again go to market because we want to really buy this now if you see the margin required is fluctuating it says 23972 or maybe 75 now it will keep changing because the price is changing here okay so we say buy contracts and now it says please wait and voila it has bought 50 shares for us congratulations now after you buy if there is a fluctuation in the price let's say it goes down which it has then you will see a loss here okay and if the price goes up you will see a profit now before we even get into profit and loss i want you to understand the most important thing which is fees and taxes there will be a long video on this later but right now just understand there are several taxes and fees so a collection of that is coming to 53 rupees for this trade of 50 shares so sometimes people just buy and sell at the same price and then they say why did i made a loss you made a loss because you're never supposed to buy and sell at the same price you at least supposed to sell at 3 or 4 rupees profit so that you can pay the taxes to the government so that should be your learning number 1 okay now when we do paper trade we do it with one thing in mind that will keep it till the time we get profit so you always have a sell in mind so how do we place a sell order now so we can again come here click on sell and we have over here again asking the same question so we can say overnight but before that see it says one contract of this order will be adjusted in the existing existing buy order of tata motors which is okay for us so we are saying that when the price becomes 500 please sell 50 shares for me So we are saying limit sell, and this goes over here. So now we have placed two orders. If you see, one is an active order because we have already bought it. Second is a pending order that says sell this when it comes to fifty. I want you to notice on this it says tracking. Now tracking means whenever it comes to five hundred, it will sell. So you will be thinking that if I bought it at 478 and if I sell it 
at 500 what is my profit 22 rupees per share into 50 which is 1100 no sir you will not get 1100 there will be taxes that will be reduced from this so over here those taxes are not seen right now but they will be calculated okay so active position we have for tata motors we have bought it at the same time we said sell it at this price see a businessman always knows at what price he wants to buy and what price he wants to sell a long-term trader will never do that he will only buy and keep it and forget it for six months one year so if you're a long-term trader please do not put a sell order but if you're a short-term trader a person who's just interested in making five six thousand a month then this is the right way to do it again this all knowledge is for education purpose and only for paper trade if you want to do this live you need to contact your financial advisor you also need to have a broker account like angel broking or zero da now let's move on now let's say you want to buy some other share so every day when you see my recommendations you feel that what should we do so you have to come here and just add these shares to the list so now you know that why these shares are here because somebody has recommended and they are asking you to trade on this so let's say we want to now go ahead with Gujarat gas we again do the same thing we click on buy we go with market because we don't want to but over here there's a message no message it's gone so we go with market we come here we say 50 that's it and remember it should be overnight normal and not intraday if you do intraday the position will vanish at 330 automatically so please don't do this we want to do overnight so you click on market voila your order will be placed see it is placed let's say we want to buy india energy exchange now we buy here and we say 50 of this also market price overnight is correct 50. Now if you notice every time i'm buying my investment is shown here and this total is deducted from this account balance so now we know what's going around you okay now let's say while doing this trade you realize that oh the price is further going down and you're interested to average the buy price then you can again click on buy and add more share if you want to now once you have already bought the share you will see in this panel there are multiple options one is this first one with the pencil when you click on it it tells you at what price did you enter what is the last traded price if you notice here now we are in profit 46 rupees okay great good i'm happy to see some profit and then it tells you quantity target and if you have set any target it will show over here if you have set any stop loss or if you want to modify anything so here is a very important part saying convert this to intraday MIS we don't want to do that okay we don't want to play intraday that is for advanced people since you're a beginner first just learn to buy and sell okay so these are the options here now exit will really exit you out of this position now remember it's called position so these are three positions you have made hence it says active positions so if i click on exit i will exit out of this i don't want to exit let's see the third option oh you can write notes here so why did you buy this because there is a split coming by end of October hence sell of these shares 
will be done by end of November. Super. We can add notes here. Amazing, right? So we save it and now we have notes here. So next time you go here, you click here, you will have your notes again. So this will help you to understand why in the first place you bought and what is the price at which you want to sell because it's, it's possible that you will not remember at what price you want to sell. So hence, I always tell people when you buy, you should be very clear with what is the sell price. So in Tata Motors, we are very clear. We want to put a sell price of 500 and it's tracking. If you have more questions around this, feel free to put it in your comments and I will be very happy to answer it. Let's go ahead. Every day, once you do this, you should come in your trading panel and it will show you certain things over here so that you can monitor what's going on with the share. So over here it says 5, 1 hour, 1 day, 1 month. We should always click 1 day so that we know what is happening with the share. And in the bottom it says volume. Now what is volume? Volume is the number of times the share got traded on that particular day or hour or month, whatever you're watching. So we are watching the last one. And if I put my mouse cursor here, I think it says 147.294 million. That's not a great big number, but yes, a lot of people are trying to trade. But if you see, we're looking at Nifty 50 and not Tata Motors. So we can come here or we come here and you see the chart option. Now you can click on the chart and it should show you Tata Motors chart. Voila, it is here. Tata Motors one day again, we will click on one day. And now it shows that Tata Motors was here in July and now it is going up. We see some red candles means the share is falling. You can zoom in. So just click on the scroll mouse and scroll it and it will start zooming in. So we know now the price went up, some confusion up, some confusion up, sell, confusion, sell. Today also it looks like confusion on this share. So this is a nice way to understand what's going around. If you want to play and do more charting on this, you can click on this icon. It says indicator and add your moving averages, but I would recommend not to do it. Just keep it very simple for your trading. Don't get into charting in this because for charting, you should actually have a software where the setup remains constant. Over here, if I add some kind of moving average, it will not stay for the next share. So let's say I type EMA. And over here, I see the EMA, the gearbox. And I type, let's say 50, close it. So I know that the price is above the 50 EM. But if I go to India Energy Exchange, and now if I click on the chart here, will I see the same moving average on and one day setup? No, see, it's on five minutes. I have to again do one day and again, I have to add indicators. So this is something I don't like about Neo stocks, but it's okay. Our main purpose is to only buy and sell, which it is doing. So we're very thankful to this free version of Neo stocks amazing powerful trading software now there are multiple options over here called strategies these are for options please don't use it you won't understand again uh, we have some screeners and analyzers don't use it you're a beginner yes you should go to reports and click on dashboard and it will tell you that what have you done today so today i have used a margin of 1,17,000 I've made a loss of 10 lakhs and a total loss of 11 lakhs because I also have to pay brokerage fees and taxes. So this is my day wise 
today's summary and this is my last 30 days now if you go to see i have more losses than profit but over here if you carefully see it says 313 lot so i actually had one but then i went into some options and made some losses so don't worry this is exactly the reason why you need to come here and practice you can get day wise summary so 19th october what happened now see 14th october i made a trade of 23 lakhs profit so that's what i'm saying then you come over here and say trade history and it will also give you all the historical stuff plus it will give you to download all the options in terms to your reports okay so play around over here you can select your instrument your order types you can have a date range person who has worked on this software has really really replicated it to the real world please note the data is only for 180 days so all the best uh, do trading on this make profits and keep sharing the profits in the group so that I can give you more recommendation. Do watch the YouTube channel where we recommend every day. What should you buy? And very soon we'll also start with what should you sell? What should you keep for long term, short term, mid term? Everything is going to come. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel. By now you know the name of the channel. It is Skill F1 Learning. So in this channel, you will get updates on everything to do with share trading and many other aspects are coming very soon. Have a good day. See you. Sayonara.